vowel? Okay. What's a vowel release look like? Okay. What's a consonant release look like? Right. You didn't do either of those, but which one was the closest to? It was. It was. And that's why I stopped myself, because I started to assume you wanted a vowel release, because it, you did, and, and you mo mo probably did, and you gave kind of a consonant release, which is probably only the result of, I'm done, so I'm done. Right? Yeah, yeah. Um, that time I took, when I went out to all that National Concert Festival in Indianapolis, it was a huge learning experience for me. I talked to you guys about the coffee up that I went 7,000 miles an hour on, like a big dummy. And then we did this uh, Granger thing that was so very, very difficult with a tenor, voice, soloist, and wind band. And the last note terrified me the whole rehearsal process because it was so transparent and the notes weren't the most beautiful notes on the instruments in a wide spectrum of range. And we never played it in tune. I mean, we just never played it in tune. And, and we got in the concert and that performance in the, in, at the event, and it wasn't in tune. And, and I just wanted to get out of it as soon as I possibly could because I was afraid of it. And correctly, the people that evaluated the thing, these, these monsters, these big shots in our profession, you know, all of them really just kind of stomped on my face about it. You know, that was, I think that might have been where the first time somebody told me fermata means the note length plus some. That tells you how old and ignorant I was, that I was, you know, that many years into teaching before anybody really just asked me to define or presented me with a definition of fermata beyond hold a note. You know, because it was a whole note with a fermata on it. And one of those guys, I'm pretty sure, just said, you know what, that means five plus, you know. Sit there a bit, give it some more time. And I'm sure the release I gave was pretty consonant at the end, too, because I was just trying to run out of there like Roadrunner with a poof of smoke behind me. Okay? Um, now, uh, anybody perceive anything interesting about the staccato, Amanda? Are you looking at me? <laughs> Why am I looking at her? Same thing. Yeah, same. He had the same issue. Oh, you guys are partners. I thought you would have gone on to that one. Uh, Josh, Josh got sideways with the, uh, the pattern, and apparently there was a picture of the correct pattern on the ceiling to your right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I've read a couple of brain research articles. It's interesting. It tells you whether you're right brain or left brain, if when you're searching for an answer, if you do this or you do this. But we all kind of do one of these when we're somewhere, for reason or another, we're looking up into our brain to try to find the answer. <laughs> and, uh, and you were looking up into the right as you kept trying to search for that pulse. But again, the good news is, see, Amanda didn't notice. Others didn't notice. You found your way to the Fermata on B3. You kept your baton moving in the right style. Legato looked very nice. Thank you.